MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Miami Marlins and the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox look to match the longest winning streak in baseball history. Coming up next. Eduardo Rodriguez, a Venezuelan left-hander, will be the man on the mound. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, in a day and age where runs are scored at an alarming rate, this guy's been pretty rock solid. Last three starts, ERA under 2.00. Not an easy thing to do, and you'll know if he's on early. If he's good and on point in the first inning, that usually means he's going to be rock solid throughout the rest of the game. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip on the first to record the out. Up next, Miguel Rojas. It was an 0 for 4 day for him in yesterday's loss. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Ortiz is over now and he's got it for route number two. So the next to bat will be Starling Marte. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Matty, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I'm just a double. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. And now here is Mookie Betts. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now here it comes. The right field. Softly hit to short. Gonna be a tough play. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Digging in next, Alex Verdugo. Lifetime against this pitcher. He's just one for six. Swing and a liner. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring up David Ortiz. Hot shot on the ground is short. Reined in. Throw on to first. A three pitch inning. And start of the second here in Boston. Let's check in with Heidi for a bit more on the weather. First pitch on its way. Jesus Aguilar is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he can swing at that one. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. And the Marlins are into the hit column. There's their first base hit. He's been cold. Batting average fell below 230, but that knock might have put him in a positive frame of mind. Hopefully that's the start of something big right now. And that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Numbers-wise, he's at 326. Seven homers and an even 20 RBIs. A one pitch on its way. it up on the right side of the infield. Ortiz is there. Two down. From the stretch. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Hernandez is there, and the side is retired. One left for Miami. We'll go to the bottom of the so now it'll be the four hole hitter J.D. Martinez and you can see great numbers over the past few games hit back toward the mound and the Red Sox have their first hit of the ball game. Rafael Devers the next to bat he was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory. And a 
fastballs in there for strike one. These Marlins as they take the field this afternoon. They come off another loss last time out and in fact they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah Matty they got to find a way to put yesterday behind them. They got pounded without question but today is a new day and they regroup and grind and try and do the little things to try and win this ball game. This is pulled into right. Harrison is under it to make the play on the first out. That is good. That's and that brings job. in Xander Bogart, hoping to stay hot as he came through with a four hit contest yesterday afternoon. Scooped up. There's one on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Now with the plate is Marwin Gonzalez for his career in this matchup. He's one for three. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This one smoked the other way, high and deep to left. And it's off the green monster. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. And you see on the graphic right there that his hitting streak will indeed live on as he just continues to hit the ball well. You know what, Matty? I don't see it ending anytime soon. And we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups, but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate, and I don't think anybody gets him to lose his toehold right now. That average way, way up there to start things out. 18 homers and 34 driven in. Comes set, the 0 1, fouled away. The offensive game plan today is certainly to see the ball up. This guy is known on the mound for sinker changeup combination. He's going to try and establish down in the zone to get swing and a miss or ground balls consistently. You have to find something above the belt to get loose on. A pause and the 0-2. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And Marte will make the grab and that ends the inning. Boston Strand. Top of the third set to get underway. And next will be the speedy catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a ball lined into left center, and that's over the head of Bogarts at short for a base hit. The throw into second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. So a good job there as he opens up the third inning with a two base hit. And that total is currently tops on the ball club through the first couple of months of the season. So that'll bring in Monty Harrison next. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here. But at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game could make a big difference. And he got him. So the lineup flips over and digging in, John Birdie. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. So now into the box is Miguel Rojas. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Alfaro at second with two down. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning is over. Marlins leave one. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Digging in will be Kike Hernandez. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Fastball in there for a called strike. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on there. Meanwhile, here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field. And that is going to clear the wall. A home run. A solo shot that time for Kike Hernandez. Number 36 on the year for him. As the Red Sox get the game's first run, it's one to nothing.
Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb, hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted his pitch down the zone right there, below the knee. Offensive player was all over it. Alex Verdugo digging in now. And he puts it on the ground to second. The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Up to the plate now is David Ortiz. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. Long run, but he tracks this one down out there for the second out. Nice play. Here's J.D. Martinez. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. So next to hit is Rafael Devers. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. From the belt, kicks and deals. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time. And how about that for Daring? It's a two-out double steal. Comes set. The 0-1. Lifted the other way out to left center. Dickerson on the move. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run. First offering on its way. Popped him up. Bogarts into shallow left. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see, he currently ranks second in the AL in that department. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. And it's fouled away. The next 0-2. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Corey Dickerson will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Not shocked by their aggressive nature at the plate today. But they got to change their M.O. if they're going to compete in this one. And a fastball swung on and missed. And his side is retired. One, two, three. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And he leaps and makes the circus catch. My goodness, what a play there. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw to first will get him. Already two away here in the home court. And here's the catcher, Kevin Ploiecki. The bouncer to the left side. And that's through for a hit. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. Well, that's not a bad pitch right there. That's a pretty good sinker. He just happens to hook that one right into left field for a base hit. Yeah, he got the bad head out right there, Dan, and was able to get that one to left field. Stepping in next, Kike Hernandez. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. And a pitch out, nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. The 1-0. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Ploiecki is off of first with two away. Just short, hit hard. And a close 
play at second, but the throw does beat him in the side. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Garrett Cooper will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt. In particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. One away now for the Marlins in their half of the fifth. And that will bring up the outfielder Brian Anderson. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he started this frame with the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. Into the box now. Jorge Alfaro. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Well, that rain is really coming down right now. It's raining cats and dogs. You got to make sure you don't step in a poodle. That's as hard as I've seen it rain all afternoon. Everyone, it's so much harder to concentrate when it rains. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third hit. He's given up the entire game, so he's still in total control out there. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He's getting a lot of first pitch outs, and it's really easy to see why. He's been perfect. He's under it, and that ends the inning. One left for Miami. They still trail 1-0. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. Meeting off for the red card. The right field. Mookie. Betts. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Line drive base hit. So a line drive single to left makes it two hits for him now this afternoon at the plate. And that total is currently tops on the ball club through the first couple of months of the season. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. 0 for 2 for him to this point. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Swung on, and this ball is hammered. Forget about it. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. So a two run homer down the line in right field number 28 on the season as the Red Sox have moved down three to nothing. Well this is what makes this guy so hard to pitch to. He has that rare combination of speed and power. You don't want to walk him and have him get on first base. So what happens you throw him a strike and he can hit the ball all the ballpark like he did just there. On the first so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. And now pitch on the way. Hit sharply on the ground. And there's out number two. Here now is Rafael Devers. 
Here's the first pitch to him. Grounded to short. Go over to Aguilar at first will take care of him to end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run home run. We're through five here this afternoon. Boston leads it three nothing. So the batting order turns over now and set to go John Birdie and through five turns at bat they've only mustered a total of three hits not terrible but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Yeah they're definitely just not having consistent quality A.B.'s. The game plan they had coming in hasn't worked and I'm interested to see if they're willing to change it up a little bit. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first gets him so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Into the box, Miguel Rojas. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Heading out towards shallow right. Bet's coming on. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Miami down in order, still down 3 0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogart. And now the first pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Marte going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Now the Red Sox DH, Marwin Gonzalez, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Drilled to the left side. And a base hit into left field, so they've got themselves a one out base runner. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stopping. So now to the plate, Kevin Ploiecki. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. Relay to Aguilar, the double play, and that retires the side. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he comes up empty on a pitch right down the middle for strike one. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage, how about 100%? Can't get any better than that. And now pitch on the way. Corey Dickerson comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. This is why the manager pencils these guys in, in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. That's popped up. Bogarts in the shallow left. In there. A base hit. Throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. Here's the fourth hit of the game, and it's a good one. Puts a good swing on this thing, and it goes for a double. We'll see if they can build on it here. You just sensed it was coming with the heaviness of the rain and all the radar maps that we're seeing online lead us to believe this will be at least an hour. Matt, this has the makings of we're going to see two different pitchers come out after this delay. The conditions are bad. It looks like this rain is. The 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. After it is Verdugo, he tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. First delivery to him. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Popped him up. Ploiecki is under it. And he makes the catch to retire the side. Marlins leave one. They trail it here 3 to nothing. 
Daniel Castano gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Last half of the seventh here, and that means the plug and play utility man Kike Hernandez will bat next. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. And that's the first down. Now back. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh and up next one of the terrific talents in the game Mookie Betts. Oh and won the count. He was absolutely all over that fastball have to find a way to keep that fair. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1. Hard hit at third. Throw on to first two gone. Alex Verdugo stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So now with two away the middle of the order gets to bat with opportunities on base. Whoa that ball was close. Was right by his head. I think he probably heard it go by guys. That's pretty unsettling for a pitcher. Trust me I know. Into the box, David Ortiz, as he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. And he is in there. Well, it took him till the seventh, but he gets his first hit of the game here, and that'll extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he didn't come out of his he didn't come out of what he was trying to do all day, Dan. Kept the front shoulder tough, kept the ice water in his veins. And didn't try and get too big. Extends the hit and streak. Nice job. You know, D-Row, I talked to him before the game about the streak. And the second run will score as well. And he's safe. And you know, this run might be the one that seals this now thing that. for good. A three-run deficit is tough enough to overcome, but a five-run deficit Never. feels like it might just be a little bit too much. They don't have many outs left to work with. Stepping in now, Rafael Devers, as he'll get a slider up that time, but he swings through it for the first strike. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. High in the air down the right field line. Oh and two, here it is. Nope. Boy, that was an awfully close yeah. pitch right there. I know if I'm on the mound, I want that pitch called a strike. That's one of those that could go either way. Hit in the air to shallow center. After it is Marte. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't no like their chances no there. Man, he's seeing it like a beach Bad ball up. right now. Even his well soft contact is finding holes there. He's making it nearly impossible for a pitcher right now. Up, down, in and out, hard, soft. Anything you throw forward to home plate, this guy seems to somehow be able to find a hole. Richard Blyer trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. A bouncer to the left side. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch and the inning is over. So it's two runs on four base hits. First offering. Leading off with the ball. Jorge Alfaro is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Definitely coming out of his shoes, aggressive style. First pitch, base hit up the middle. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, John Birdie. He's set, here it comes. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. 
Good speed at first and good speed with the guy at the dish. It's going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, you've got to get rid of it quick. Devers is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Now to bat, Miguel now Rojas bat. flew out last time up. First pitch on the way. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first. And that'll be one left for Miami. They can't chip into that 5 nothing deficit. Digging in, the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. So far, two for three in this one. High and deep to left center field. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Wow, when you're swinging the bat like he is, you want the game now to go to extra so you can get some more ABs. That's his third hit of the game, and his swing just keeps getting better and better. Almost hit that one out of here, but he'll take a double anytime. At the plate now, Kevin Ploiecki. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. A one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the hine. Looking up is Dickerson. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. So a two run homer down the line in left. 19th home run for him on the season as this lead swells to seven to nothing. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. To the plate now, Kike Hernandez. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Here's Mookie Betts. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And it's gone into the monster seats. Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. And he keeps it up. 53 now on the year as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Well, they've got the elevate and celebrate thing working in this one, guys. That was their fourth big fly of the game. Hero, I don't know what you think, but this is one of those cases where I think the hitters right now, they must be seeing beach balls up there right now with four bombs already in this one. Yeah, this lineup from top to bottom has power just oozing out of it. And this guy's missing over the heart of the plate. That's what happens. Standing in now, Alex Verdugo. Into right field, that's a base hit. The first baseman, number 34. At the plate, David Ortiz. Back up the middle. Bare handed for one to Aguilar for the double play. We don't get to see the glove tossing up, but boy, it can really help save some time, and it looks good to boot. That's smooth. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Two hits in four attempts to this point. The 0-1. A swing by Martinez, and this is driven to left. On to Lansdowne, and gone! So a solo shot down the line in left and even 40 home runs on the year for him now as this lead got even wider. Boy this guy just keeps going on his 40th home run of the season and he's not done yet. He keeps this up. He's definitely going to be in a conversation for some of the year-end awards. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's got one hit in four at-bats.
swing and a drive to right center. Hey, that ball's going to be way out of here. Back to back home run. It's a solo home run for Rafael Devers. 29 home runs for him on the year as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, balls are flying out of here faster than they can throw them across the plate, it seems. That's four home runs in this inning alone. It's times like this when pitchers wonder if maybe they've chosen the wrong profession. Their pitching coaches start wondering, too. This is hit sharply to the left side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. And in fact, that number is not only the highest in all of the American League, but is actually the highest in all of baseball. He's got it. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Starling Marte. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Behind 0-2 now. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jesus Aguilar. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, Holy smokes. That's the first ball they've taken the entire game so far. They're swinging at everything. A ball and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. It's a swing and a high pop-up. Ortiz over to his right, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Stepping in once again is Corey Dickerson. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Now the first pitch. Popped him up. Put this one away, and the Red Sox will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. 11-0, the final shutout total in this one. Boston led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Eduardo Rodriguez hangs win number 11 on his line as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort.